Today we will discuss, how to take history of cough. Let's start. Whenever patient says, I have cough, in his presenting complains. Then, ask following questions in detail. And adopt this sequence. How long, have you been suffering from cough? Acute cough, has a duration less than three weeks and commonly occurs due to respiratory tract infection. While chronic cough, duration is greater than eight weeks. Next question. This cough is persistent or paroxysmal? Remember, occasional or paroxysmal cough occurs in asthma. Ask to the patient, when the cough gets worse. During day or at night. Nocturnal cough occurs in asthma, gastroesophageal reflux or left ventricular failure. Cough, that is worse in the morning suggests chronic bronchitis. Now ask about precipitating factors. Ask, can you tell anything in particular, that triggers or aggravate cough? Or is the cough aggravated by dust, cold air or by smoke? Ask about character of cough. As cough may be croupy, harsh or barking. Next comes progression. Ask about any change in character or frequency of cough over time. This change in cough actually tells about new problem. As we should consider about lung cancer in a smoker with change in nature of chronic cough. Next question is very important. Cough is dry or productive. If patient says, he is having productive cough. Then ask following questions. What is the amount of sputum? Ask about amount of sputum production in spoon or cups. Cough with profuse expectoration indicates bronchiectasis, lung abscess or it may be due to resolving pneumonia. While in asthma, scanty amount of sputum production is seen. Next, ask about color and odor of sputum. Ask about presence of blood in sputum. If patient says yes, ask. Fresh of altered blood. Ask at which time usually sputum production occurs. That is morning or evening. Ask to the patient, is there any relation of sputum production with posture? That is, in which posture, usually sputum production occurs. Cough with postural variation occurs in bronchiectasis, or in lung abscess. Now, this is the time to ask about associated factors. Ask about chest pain. Ask about dyspnea or shortness of breath. If shortness of breath present then ask about it in detail accordingly. Along with that detail, it is important to ask about following questions relating to dyspnea. How far can you walk before your breathing stops you? How many flights of stairs can you manage without stopping? Ask about fever. Fever and night sweats favors tuberculosis. Ask about weight loss that can happen in tuberculosis and in carcinoma of lung. Now, time to ask about causes or reason of this cough. Ask about chest tightness, rhinitis, wheeze and allergic symptoms. Chest tightness occurs with asthma and COP. D. Ask about family history of bronchial asthma and allergy. Ask about smoking. If yes, then ask from how long time. Also how many cigarettes per day. Also ask about hucker smoking. It is very important to inquire about heart diseases and about renal disease. Cardiac cause may include mitral stenosis. 
Does cough occurs after eating or drinking? Remember cough after eating or drinking occurs in esophageal reflux disease. Ask to the patient, are you taking any medication, as drugs like ACE inhibitors might cause cough in some patients. Beta blockers may cause bronchospasm and exacerbate symptoms of asthma. While asking about medications for cough, if patient using inhalers already, then ask to him. How often do you use inhaler for your symptoms? Ask about travel history, as tuberculosis is prevalent in some areas of world. Ask about occupational history, as there may be exposure to asbestos-like agents. Ask about exposure to birds and animals. Ask about impact of cough and this disease on patient's quality of life. Does this disease interfering with daily activities or work, sleep? We hope this video will help you, while taking history of cough. Thanks. Like and subscribe our channel for next coming videos.